Hello and welcome back. My name is Sandcaller Yithmavi, and this is a patch notes video for Trove. Uh, I don't have any connection to the developer. I do this on my own. I just want to put that out there, and you can see that winter is now here in Trove. Uh, this is a part of the new seasonal content direction that the developers are taking Trove. Um, at each of the major seasons, we'll receive new boxes and stuff so let's get on with the patch notes the first thing that you're gonna see is that there is a new winter hub world so we received some changes here at spawn uh, the using snow block or some white blocks to look like snow on the trees um, the grass has been replaced with snow the turkotopia stuff is all removed of course and out here you can see that we are now in an icy hills biome which it's not going to pop up but that's where we're in so since we're right here the next thing that was added was a wheel of seasons workbench is now available under in the crafting bench it didn't pop up because i had f7 on that's why it's under the advanced and wheel of seasons so enchanted wood I'm gonna go ahead and craft one and then we'll be back this is the new wheel of seasons workbench and if we go in here we have different recipes these come out of the next part we have a new mag rider that we can make when I get the stuff I don't have any chest nuts which is part of our next thing here so first let's go into the store the store has received new winter pinatas which will be under goods winter pinata for 2,000 uh, cubits you, they've also added the eyes and tentacles to the store that you can purchase. Looks like that one is just for credits. Gardening got some new blocks specifically for winter. So here's the chestnut seed. Uh, let see if there's any else. Okay, yeah, there's Snow Queen Crown Seed, Solace Sunflower Seed, Winter Chalice Seed, Lilac Lamp Seed, Frost Flake Seed, Snow Puff Seed, Fested Tree Cone, Frosted Freckle Seeds. I switched to my Dracolite now because Dracolites have uh, been updated to have a 0% multiplier for attack speed it's just a visual change because the flamethrower attack of the Draco doesn't benefit from attack speed any so now his attack speed just shows a 0 because he's basically attacking constantly with the flamethrower okay so we're here in an adventure world now and the insta grouper has been renamed to the rally blade Okay, we're here in Kandoria because they've added a new dungeon which was created by Dope Cheat. This is it here right in front of me, a big gingerbread house. The Candy Barbarian's Crush, which is his one, was had its damage to blocks reduced by 25%, which is hard to show. You can still break the blocks in one in two hits, and if you're on glass it will still bust through the floor. One of the changes is to the wind-up attack doing a lot more damage, as you can see. Bug fixes in this week's update uh, include fixing the stat display rounding error. Um, one of the bugs was that it would show that you had an extra jump, but it wouldn't let you jump. It'd let you jump one fewer times, basically. Uh, the pets have gone to obedience school and they've become better at following you 
so they don't wander off anymore hopefully um, they fixed a bug where the energy debit was reset to zero after taking damage this is most noticeable on the candy barbarian as you could use it to infinitely spin as long as you were standing in fire uh, some buttons which were not centered should now be centered uh, the strawberry candy cow deco should now appear correctly it just wasn't visually showing up in your collection <laughs>